Well, they have the first in the nation primary in the White House race, but the executive branch is not the only big political news in New Hampshire this year. Joining us now with a very exciting announcement about her political future is former New Hampshire Senator Kelly Ayotte. Good morning to you. Good morning. It's great to be with you. Well, we're excited that you chose to make this announcement right here on Fox and Friends. Do you want to tell the world well, what I'm, your announcement is? I, absolutely. I'm excited to, to uh, tell everyone. You know, Governor Sununu did a great job, but there's, there's going to be a vacuum there. And we are one election away from becoming Massachusetts and New Hampshire, and I'm not going to let that happen. We have something very special in New Hampshire. No income, no sales tax. Education freedom is so important in our state. So I'm running for governor to make sure that New Hampshire remains safe, prosperous, and free. So when you say you don't want to, uh, New Hampshire to become the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, what exactly evil are you talking about? It, it sounds like you're suggesting. Oh, I can tell you what the evil is. It's the evil of uh, an income tax, sales tax, uh, less freedom. And here in New Hampshire, we take our, our state motto very seriously, live free or die. And there's just a very different perspective with our neighbors. And we need to stay the state that we are. Um, we do have some issues that need to be addressed. I think the importance of public safety mm -hmm. and fentanyl. We've had too many of our citizens dying of fentanyl. But we have a great state. And we're very different from our neighbors. So picking up on what Governor Sununu did, and I believe it was would be four terms, uh, what would your priorities yes. be? Uh, number one priority is going to make sure that we're safe. And that means uh, getting those fentanyl dealers. We need tougher penalties to get them off our streets. Unfortunately, we've seen drugs, uh, the fentanyl being trafficked off our southern border uh, from Lowell and Lawrence, Massachusetts, uh, into our cities, and it's killing our citizens. Uh, we need to end the revolving door because we have a weak bail law that Democrats pushed that has allowed violent criminals to get back on our streets and they continue to harm New Hampshire citizens. Mm -hmm. And we need to keep our economic advantage uh, make sure that this is the best place uh, to raise right. a family, but also to have a business. And that's what makes our state great. You all have the first primary in the great state of New Hampshire. And for Republicans. That's not right. Not that's Democrats. true. For Republicans. Who do you, how do you expect that to look? Who is, you said Chris Christie's gone up yeah, in New he's Hampshire. A, he's, he's number three now. now. Who do you think will, will get the vote in New Hampshire? Well, I'll tell you this. The Republican candidates have been campaigning hard in New Hampshire. And Joe Biden hasn't been here. He's been dissing our state. I, I don't yeah. think he wants to explain to the people of New Hampshire uh, why his open border, border policies are harming our state, because that's where the fentanyl is coming from over the southern border. So it's been great to have the Republican candidates here. Uh, Joe Biden's been a disaster, and I look forward to supporting our Republican nominee. And the voters of New Hampshire are asking him the tough questions. All right. Senator, maybe future governor, thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, what's your website if people would like more information? Uh, my website is kellyfornewhampshire.com. Kelly, F-O-R-N-H.com. Thanks so much. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, Senator. Maybe governor, as you said. Appreciate mm -hmm. your Take time. Take care. Thank you. you female governor.